Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 2.18 from chapter number 2. In this problem, we are given a function. Okay, this is the function given. First of all, we have to find out the truth table of the function f. We have to take w, x, y and z as input and we have to find out the value of f using this boolean function then we have to draw the logic diagram using the original boolean expression that means we have to use this boolean expression and we have to draw the logic diagram of it in the third part we have use boolean algebra to simplify the function to a minimum number of literals that means we have to use boolean algebra principles various theorems theorems and lemmas we have to use them and we have to simplify or minimize the number of literals then in the fourth part we have obtained the truth table of the function from the simplified expression that means after simplification or after minimization of the literals okay then we have to find out the truth table then we have to uh, show that from this truth table function f okay is same as that of the part a truth table then we have to draw the logic diagram from the simplified expression and we have to compare the number of gates required after the simplification with that without simplification the first part of the problem is obtain the truth table of the function f so we have the function f equal to so this is the function now we have here four input variables okay we have to take four input variables and we have to find out the value of this function complete function f so we have four input variables w x y and z and the output function is f for four input variables we will have 16 combinations input combinations so 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and so on Now let us find out the func value of f. Here we can see that each term contains a non-inverted term. So for all of the term 0, each of the term will be 0. So we will have 0. For the second term we can see that x bar y bar z this term. x bar y bar z this term will be 1. Okay, so it will be 1. Similarly we can find out for all the input combinations the value of f. So this is the truth table of the function f. Okay. So first part of the problem is done. Now the second part of the problem, we have to find out the logic diagram using this original boolean expression. We have to use this original expression and from this expression, we have to draw the logic diagram. So we'll have four input variables. Okay. W, X, y and z these are the four input variables okay so these are the four input lines we have to use an inverter here okay we will get here w bar use another inverter we will get here uh, x bar similarly we will use another inverter and we will get y bar here okay so there is no z bar in the function so we will not find out the z bar function okay now let us draw the truth table this is the sum of mean terms expression so first of all we have to find out this product terms okay so x y bar z x y bar and z this is multiplication so we will have to use an and get okay so here we will get x y bar z so second term is x bar y bar z x bar y bar and z x bar y bar z then we have w bar x y w bar w bar x and y so it is w bar x y this is w bar this one is x and this is y line okay so we are getting this this input and we are getting this function then we have w x bar y w x bar y okay so 
here we will get after this n get w x bar y okay then we will have w x y w x and y okay so after using an n get we will get w x y now we have to add this term so we have to use a or get okay and we will get the function f here the inputs will be these input outputs of the end gate okay so this five input or gate so here we will get the function f so this is the logic diagram of the original boolean expression here we can see that we have one two three four five so we have five number of n gate and one number of or gate in the third part we have to use boolean algebra to simplify the function to a minimum number of literals okay so in the third part we have to simplify the function f equal to from these two terms we can take y bar z common and we'll get x plus x bar and from this two term, this third and the fifth term, we can take xy common plus xy, if we take common, w bar plus w. We can add another wxy, the result will be unsense. Okay, so we can take wy, it will be x bar plus x. So this term, this term and this term is 1. Okay, so we can write it as y bar z plus xy plus w y so we can rewrite it as y bar z plus y whole into x plus w okay so the third part of the problem is complete so this is this is the simplified boolean expression then in the fourth part we have to obtain the truth table of this simplified function okay and so that it is the same as the part in a now we have to draw the truth table of this simplified function so we have inputs w x y and z we have y bar uh, no other bar okay so w x y and z so we'll have 16 combination similar to the previous case So now we will find out using this function. The function is f equal to y bar z plus y whole into w plus x or x plus w. So from this function we have to find out this value. In our previous tutorials we have seen many examples how to find out this truth table. Okay, so directly I will write out the function f value. Okay. So this is the truth table. Okay. So we can write it as if we express it in sum of mean terms expression, then we'll get sum of 0, 1. 1, then 5, 1, comma, 5, comma, 6, 7, 6, comma, 7, then 8 is not there, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, okay, 12 is not there, 13, 14, 15. 13 14 15 so this is the sum of mean terms expression so in the first part if we find the sum of mean term expression so we'll get sum of so this is 1 5 6 7 9 10 11 12 13 or 12 is not there 10 11 13 14 15 so if we, this is from part a okay part a if we compare these two sum of mean term expressions it is 1567 1567 then 9 10 11 13 9 10 11 13 then 14 15 14 15 so after simplification the sum of mean term expression is the same so this fourth part of the problem is complete okay now in the fifth part what we have to do in the fifth part we have to draw the logic diagram for the simplified expression and compare the total number of gates with the 
diagram from part B. Now we have to draw the logic diagram for the simplified expression from part C. Okay. For in part E, we will write the simplified f simplified equal to So this is the simplified expression. Now we have to draw the logic diagram of this simplified expression. So on the y bar is there so w x y z. Okay, these are the four input lines and we have y bar here. So we'll use an inverter and we'll get y bar line here. Okay, y bar z. Y bar z. This is multiplication. Use an n get and we'll get y bar z here. Okay. Then you have to bring one line from y. Okay. Then we have w plus x. This w plus x. So we will have to use here a or get. Okay. So we'll get here w plus x. This w plus x is multiplied with y. Okay. We will use here a n get. And we'll get y whole into w plus x. Again, we have to add these two terms, okay? So, we will use here a OR GET, two input OR GET, and we will get the function F simplified. So, let us count the number of GETs here. So, here we have used two N GETs and two OR GETs. So, two number of N GET and two number of OR GET. Here also you can see that it is only two input and get or two input or get. In the previous case, we can see that we have used three input and get and five input or get. Okay, so this figure is much complex than the fifth part figure. After simplification or minimization of the literals, the circuit complexity is lesser. Okay, so so this is the solution of the problem number two point one eight. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.